Joe Namath was going to go for the rock bottom. Or the Joe bottom. The Joe fresh. Belly to back release suplex onto death varant. These young athletes, I'm telling you, these guys have a futur ahead of them. And there is the even flow DDT. Now, however, McDoom is not that young anymore. McDoom's got to be at least in his mid to late 40s at this point. I mean, he's been competing for over 17, God knows, even longer than that. I think he wrestled longer, I think he wrestled elsewhere before he was in fantasy pro wrestling. So for all we know, he started wrestling in the early to mid 90s. Before setting foot in an FPW wrestling ring. Stunner! That pretty much knocked almost everybody out! Irish whip misses a punch. But Tommaso Don Capelli has more special left in his arsenal. Oh, bicycle kick, very nice. Tilt to world tombstone foul driver. Love is the answer. Oh shit, look at that. Turking the back out of Joe Namath. Death Warren trying to pull a victory here. Forcing Joe Namath to drink. Oh, there's a, ro there's a rock bottom. That was indefinitely a rock bottom. And Joe Namath quickly breaks up that pinning predicament. So Tommaso's moveset is based off of Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock. Not bad, not bad choice. And uh, now we've got... Death Warren has been very, very uh, interesting. I mean, he, he first came into FPW about two years ago, full of piss and vinegar and... Throughout 2016, he's made a name for himself as being the No Mercy Champion, or reigning, defending No Mercy Champion. But he hasn't been getting what he really, really wanted. And now tonight, here at Beach Blast, this is the first time I've seen Death Warren compete in a very long time. There's that tilt to world tombstone power driver. Oh, look at this arm bar. Going for an arm bar, and he was far from submitting. Mig Doom is not gonna give up that quick. There's that Blumpkin pile driver. Pigs a resistance. Whew, what a contest. Oh, 
shit, man. Tommaso is on fire. Oh, nice. Nice, sucks underneath. Schoolboy. And almost a count of three. Joe was so close of having a pucker up to some Aki Hall. And Joe is fighting back, man. Joe is fighting, and I have a feeling that the tables might turn quite effectively in the next few minutes. Oh, tilt to world tombstone! Oh, for a God's sake! How is Joe able to walk after that? I, I thought he broke his neck on, 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 on that exchange right there. Cabernet de Simon. We're already about halfway through this match in terms of time limit. Taba slack. Oh, first blood! Nick Doom's got a nasty gash on his forehead, and for all we know, wine is coming out of that. I mean, Nick Doom must get wasted 24 hours a day. He has to be bleeding wine. Oh, that's kind of blasphemous. I shouldn't say that. Uh, he bleeds, uh, he bleeds whiskey. Is that better, folks? Huh? Is that, is that better, Captain? Yes! It's not too blasphemy. I'm not insulting all these fine viewers at home, am I? Good. Oh my goodness. Almost. Almost. And look at Joe Namath booty shaking his way, but motions to the crowd, and this could very well be the end. And no, tumbling on the outside floor is former No Mercy champion and former Tornado Tag Team champion Joe Namath. Oh wow, a drop kick? Well, sitting down while the opponent is sitting down, that was a beautiful tilt the world tombstone pile driver. There's the rock bottom! A second rock bottom to Michael McMaster! I'm undefeated. Yeah, DJ Samurai is going all out on uh, on Skillet. I can't even pronounce that. I've dropped the group, that's just gay anime. But uh, yes, DJ Samurai pulling on all the stops here. For Skillet. Not Skrillex. Skillet. Well, honestly, I have no idea who is going to be winning this contest, fans. We've got about 12 minutes remaining on the clock, and they're going to come up with something really fast, or I will be da I will be damned if we have a second draw game. I'm serious. Oh, nice reverse DDT.